to another video tutorial. In today's video, we will be taking a look at what can be done so you can avoid to not send spam to your clients. So every now and then, sometimes your emails might hit spam, and we will be taking a look at why um, that would be that would happen. Okay. So first things first, we need to take a look at what is the email that we are sending from. So whenever a client receives an email, what email is sending that email to them? So we need to check that, okay? We are also gonna be looking at our lists and campaigns to make sure our email is the right one, okay? So first of all, we're gonna go here in our account and then we're gonna go to company. Right over here, guys, as you can see, there's from email address and reply to email address. The most important one is the from email address. And as you can see, I'm using a gmail.com. So that will most likely land in spam, okay? So if you're using Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, anything of the sort, it will probably land in spam. So you wanna make sure you have a professional email. By professional email, I mean you buy a domain so you can send an email from that domain. So this is the first thing guys, you wanna make sure your professional email is right over here, okay? So next thing, we're gonna take a look at our list and we're gonna make sure the from email is also set up as um, the, the right email. So it needs to be your professional email also. Let's go over here um, to company details. Uh, over here to subscriber actions, notifications, and advanced. Okay, guys, over here in advanced, these are other um, configurations. You need to look over here in advanced where your from email is and what your reply to email is. As you can see, I still have the same email, gmail.com, and that is because I don't have a domain connected to my mailing boss. That is what you guys need to do so you don't hit spam, okay? You need to make sure your professional email is also over here. So after you do that, you're gonna click Save Changes and you're also gonna check the campaigns you're sending to your clients to make sure your professional email is also there, okay? So let's go over here to this one that, um, actually we're gonna go to this one, okay? DG Course Link, we're gonna update here. We're gonna go to setup. And right over here, guys, your professional email will need to be right there, okay? So, like I said before, um, over here in your account, your lists and campaigns need to contain your professional email in order for you to have less chance of hitting spam in your client's email, okay? Next thing is, guys, you need to connect your domain Okay, so the domain you're using for that email, you need to connect it in Mailing Boss or in your autoresponder program. And to do that in Mailing Boss, what you need to do is click on Menu and then you go down to Domains. Okay, guys, over here, you need to make sure your domain is validated. Okay, like this one over here. So once you create a new domain, you're going to get text records that you also need to add um, wherever you bought your domain. So without those text records added, you cannot um, validate your domain, okay? So as you can see, this domain is validated as no. I'm gonna click on it, and over here I have my text records, okay? So I would have to add this wherever I bought my domain, and I would verify the DNS records, okay? If you get this error over here, it could be that you haven't connected your text um, records or maybe um, you don't have our name servers where you bought the domain, okay? So you need to do that before you come over here and try to make it work. So pretty much, guys, that's what you can do. And furthermore, keep in mind that your content of email also affects the possibility of hitting spam. So words and phrases that you may use might give you more chance of hitting spam. So let's say you use words like promotion and free and be your own boss and stuff like that might give it a chance um, to hit spam, okay? So your email might see it as spam. Also guys, if you put a lot of question marks or a lot of exclamation points and capital letters, for example, 
that is also categorized as spam in some emails, okay? So you need to make sure that the content in your email is very professional and very clean, okay? Most of all. So guys, that is pretty much what you can do in your mailing boss or in your autoresponder program to avoid hitting spam into your clients' emails, okay? So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.